Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Proto Tech Tip, and today we're gonna head back into SolidWorks to show you a neat little trick that can help you improve your productivity when designing. And that's looking at a feature called Dynamic Highlight. So, let's get into it. So at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we revolutionize your workflow and simplify your part sourcing with the world's fastest custom manufacturing. We build your custom sheet metal and machine parts and enclosures in two to three days, offering a full in-house one-stop shop for materials, components, and finishes. We make the process of bringing your design ideas to life really simple. If you are not fully proficient in CAD modeling, you can use our in-house CAD design software called Protocase Designer. Or you can download a template from our template generator and import it into your CAD program of choice to further customize. Or you can simply utilize our design services team. However, for a lot of you, SolidWorks is going to be your program of choice to design custom parts and enclosures. Today's tech tip is going to be a relatively quick one, but anytime that we can provide advice or show you tips and tricks that can help you improve your productivity when designing, well, that's what we're all about. So first, let's open up SolidWorks. Now this very simple feature is called Dynamic Highlight and should be used by anybody who does a lot of selecting faces, edges, vertices when designing in SolidWorks. What this feature does is provide instant visual feedback about what your cursor is hovering over, helping you make the correct selection choice the first time. If you are lost, let's first show you what it looks like without it turned on. Now you can see when I hover over faces and edges, nothing tells me what I'm about to click on until I actually click it. This can be very frustrating if you're trying to grab an edge or something that's visually very small. Now let's show you how much easier it is to design when this setting is put to use and turned on. To enable this, let's go to our settings. From here, let's go to our display settings. In this window, you will see the dynamic highlight from graphics view. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is checked. Now let's do the same type of motion with our part. You can see that all of these pieces of geometry now have a highlighted edge to them. This makes precise selection so much easier. It can be particularly useful when working with detailed models, smaller features, or assemblies with overlapping components. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that it can decrease performance when working on a very large or complex model, as it's going to increase the load on the graphics card. Well, that's it for today's tech tip inside SolidWorks. It was a relatively quick one, but a super important design consideration to remember. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to fill in our contact form that's on our website, or you can simply just send an email over to info at Until next time, take care.